this thing, but um, yeah, there's still a lot of stuff I have to do to it. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd make this video because I get questions all the fucking time. I mean, literally all the time um, about personal stuff. So, just wanted to answer a couple of those questions, and I guess uh, you know, I know you better, you know me better, whatever. Anyway, the first question that I get is, what was my first car? Um, my very first car was an older model Chevy Camaro, piece of shit, um, but it kept breaking down all the time, and that's what kind of got me into wanting to do mechanic work, because every time I take it to a shop, they'd have some crazy fucking labor rate. Um, the first car that I had that I actually modified was a... Uh, was a 1991 Dodge Stealth, aka the 3000 GT. Um, I did a lot of stuff to that, and of course, with any Mitsubishi five-speed transmissions, was horrible. So I had to change transmission out of that thing like four times. Uh, it was a fun car. Um, back then, you know, I was like uh, 17, 17, 18, something like that. You know, visuals was a big thing, and. I stripped it down and fucking painted it, and I never did paint work before, <clears throat> and I didn't know anything about, um, you know, wet sand and clear coat, so I painted it, looked fucking great for a few days, and I got a lot of orange pill, I didn't know what the fuck to do, so uh, I wound up looking like shit, um, let's see, let's, I got a list here, oh fucking shit, let's see, uh, and another question I get asked a lot, what is the best first car for a teenager? Of course, I'm going to say Honda Civic. Anything that, uh, Hondas, uh, Civics, Del Sol's, CRX's, anything from 91 on, uh, well, up until well, 2000. Now, after 2000, with the newer body styles, they had all kinds of automatic transmission issues. Um, but if you stay in that range, you know, 91 to 2000, um, 1.5, 1.6, they're great cars. And there's nothing on a Civic that costs more than $100. I can get a used cylinder head in good shape for $100. I can get a core block for 100 bucks. So, um, if you're looking for something just to drive around, A to B, good gas mileage, cheap to maintain, uh, you can't go wrong with a Honda Civic. But, yeah, of course, there is a list of cars um, that I could, you know, tell you right now, but I'm trying to make this short. So, I, I, Hondas, Honda Civics. 90 models Honda Civics are great cars. Um, everybody keeps asking me, what is my next project car? I've narrowed it down to either I'm getting an FD and I'm going to go with a 2J swap. Just because if you look at my older videos, I had an FD and I love that car. It was a fucking great car, but I don't like the rotary engine very much. So I get an FD, um, maybe a shell and just build it. Or, this is going to sound really weird, but a Cadillac CTS, like a 2001 Cadillac CTS. I would love, just because it's a cooler looking car, I think the visuals could be upgraded a lot. And it's a you know rear-wheel drive car, so swap options are just crazy. You know, I could get one with a factory Cadillac engine, throw a huge turbo on it until it blows, and then swap it out for SR20 or something like that. So, um... It's either FD or a Cadillac um, CTS, so I'm going to see it probably in the next week or so. Um, I did figure out kind of how to use my camera, so hopefully it looks a lot better than it did before. Um, people want to ask me, let's see here, what is my Facebook? If you stay to the end of the video, I'm actually going to put a link to my Facebook, and you can add me as a friend over there. Um, most of the time when I buy cars, I'll offer the cars at a lower price to my Facebook friends. So um, if you're in the Georgia area, um, definitely add me on Facebook. Or if you have any other questions, I try to help people. I get questions about um, head gaskets. They watch my how to do a head gasket and they, you know, message me and stuff. But I won't get your messages unless you add me as a friend. It goes to my other file and it's just, you know, kind of hard to, to keep up with everybody. Let's see... What do I like for... No, what do I do in my spare time? Yeah, I don't have any spare time. Um, you know, I do this and I make videos and, um, you know, I own a mechanic shop. And, um, you know, I have kids. So, I really don't have spare time to do anything. Um, what I do like doing, I, I, you know, if you've seen all my videos, I have my little theater room in the basement. I love watching videos. I'm on YouTube a lot. And, um... I love watching videos and, and just getting informed on stuff. 
What is my favorite YouTuber? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, it's definitely not PewDiePie. <laughs> so, um, there's nothing wrong with PewDiePie. He makes fucking crazy money off here, but his types of videos uh, I'm not really into. Um, uh, one YouTuber that I watch, and I can say at least five or six days out of the week, is um, Philip DeFranco. I love Philip DeFranco. I watch his videos almost every single day like clockworks. Just very informative, stuff like that. Um, Top Gear, the old Top Gear. I'm not sure what's going on with the new one uh, on Amazon. I know the new one on the BBC is with Matt LeBlanc and all that. It's a piece of fucking shit. Um, so, yeah, Top Gear, Mighty Car Mods. Uh, Eric the Car Guy is pretty good. Um, yeah, that's it. But mostly, just like fail videos, love fail videos, but mostly like hardcore. I will begin the afternoon or the night when I get home and watch Philip DeFranco and this just kind of go from there. I like Thought, um, Thoughty 2, um, Fell Army, all kinds of shit. Let's see here. What is a car that I do not like working on? Any German car. Uh, BMW, Audi, Mercedes, I, I don't do them. I don't do them at all. Um, I can do them, but they're just such a pain in the ass and to get the parts are so expensive I just don't like working on them and not to say that they're not great cars because you know people some people live by BMWs and Mercedes but I just don't like BMW Mercedes or Audi um, what is my favorite car overall favorite car overall uh, if we're not talking about money or anything like that I would say would be the Zonda I love the Zonda. I just love the look of the Zonda. I love the sound of the Zonda. It's a great car. Um, so if we wasn't talking about money at all, I would probably say a Zonda and then probably the original McLaren. Um, the F1 McLaren is a great car. Um, but if we're talking about something that I would actually buy or, or actually could buy, I like the Cadillac... Um, uh, what is it, the CTSV? I got a chance to drive one of those uh, a couple weeks ago, and those are fucking incredible cars. You know, um, Chevy got it down. Ford doesn't have it. When it comes to American cars, Ford doesn't have the, the, the formula right. Um, I've driven Corvettes, and, and with this uh, Cadillac, they're just great cars. They, they have a lot of power and they handle really well and that's the thing about Mustang Mustangs you can get huge power out of but the suspension is just not up for it and they're just very scary around corners um, shit that's it this, this video is getting too long if you have any questions hit me up um, like I said let me know what you think about the intro and the outro and uh, subscribe tell your friends and uh, that's pretty much it guys I'll talk to you later got some shit to do right now Chicken tenders, taters and gravy. I threw in a biscuit and a big old cookie.